Hello there, Gia. Good evening, Keisha. Uh, Good evening we have, to you. We have, we do have a lot to talk about. It's exciting. We have, yeah, we sure do. Where do you want to begin? I feel like we should begin uh, with the special, like sort of, yeah, yeah, chronological order, because, uh huh, uh, okay, and that that had, you know, the biggest excitement, of course. Yes, yes. Right. So yeah, where we left off last time, we were just getting ready to get in our jammies so we could right. watch the 60th anniversary special. Some of us may have already been in our jammies before uh, that it's even occurred. Possible but. that I was too, yes. Yeah. <laughs> but anyway, so then we we were watching and texting during that and mm -hmm. um, Mm -hmm. And uh, the big OMG moment at the end was was uh, they really got me. Like I had, I yeah. was totally, I was totally flabbergasted. Gasted, I was flabbergasted. too. Gastered, yeah. flabbergasted, Flabber flabbergasted. That's yeah. a weird word, huh? It is. I yeah. won't start repeating it. Also, okay. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> um, but I didn't know they were doing that door thing. You know, Carly yeah. comes out one door, and then Sam, and then Sam looking very weird, like in the face, yeah. she was looking very like. And then we saw why, because I thought they were going to do maybe it was going to be some Bobby tribute again or something. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was kind of funny that they let that sort of steal the show you know yeah and i've i've read a fair amount of um criticism and praise uh -huh. of the special uh -huh. but yeah. overall i was happy to get some prime time you know extras some mm -hmm. some coverage some tidbits mm -hmm. some excitement mm -hmm. of our favorite program you know yeah yeah i know i think it was i felt like it was mostly good i mean it was an hour you can only do so much in an hour you know right right there was a complaint and i have to admit that i noticed this the background mm -hmm. music seemed too loud like it was huh Okay. Did you notice that? I kept looking over at my husband because he frequently, like, if I, he doesn't like what I have on TV, he'll be, like, mm -hmm. listening to something on his phone or whatever. And I uh -huh. thought, why, why am I hearing this extra sound? And huh. it was like I was having trouble hearing the dialogue. You didn't mm. notice that? No, I didn't. I didn't, okay. Gia. Yeah. Well, I but, did. Um, anywho. Anywho, I, I liked... Um, I liked pretty much all of it. I felt like there could have been more flashback scenes, maybe, yeah. Yeah. like of really old stuff. I liked that they mm -hmm. had um, Emily, Amber Tamlin on. And yeah, I loved those flashback scenes to that era with Alan and Monica and, and adopting her. And it was that was yeah. all very sweet. And Sweet it reminded me of how good she was. I thought she was a really yeah. good actress, you she know. She was. Yeah, she yeah. was great. Mm -hmm. um, I kind of thought, but I mean, maybe this is just because I wasn't watching back then, but uh, mm -hmm. uh, Stamos, John Stamos, John Stamos. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, I kind of thought he got a lot of time. and I He just, did. Yeah, he did. That was, I think... I was feeling that too. Like there were, that was one complaint I guess I would have had that some people got a little too much time, especially when you think about all the people that could have been on, you know? Right. And it got me wondering, like, you know, why was Laura only at the end in that big group mm -hmm. part, you know, but yeah. maybe they were just, yeah. people were not able to commit or something and they uh -huh. just had to uh -huh. work with what they, I don't know, but I thought yeah. like, like they gave him like an outlandish amount mm -hmm. of time for, mm -hmm. and it made me yeah. wonder like, are they doing this because he's a more famous guy now outside of the soap world? Maybe. Like were they trying to, right. you know, like bringing right. in like Rick Springfield, yeah. like people that yeah. kind of mm -hmm. had a role outside of soaps that made them. I guess that maybe they think that sort of legitimizes the whole thing if they can show that people moved on to other, you know. Yeah, that's kind of what but, made me wonder about. Yeah, um, but it also made me think that it's really the only type of uh, entertainment, I guess, especially like visual entertainment where people can be 
in this in this show for for decades and decades you know for their whole life yeah yeah and i don't know how many people sort of are prepared <laughs> to age in front of the camera like that you know um yeah right you mean like that's that's brave of them to to go ahead well and yeah on kind of and it, it must be sort of disconcerting i mean i guess if you're if you're in the spotlight like your whole life basically you get used to the feedback maybe but i think most of us would really have a hard time you know getting scrutinized like that you know every time your weight goes up or down or you know something yeah, happens right, you know right. it must be very yeah. hard right yeah, putting yourself out in the public arena like that. Um, yeah. The ravages of time come for us all. You know. <laughs> They've really <laughs> come for me lately. <laughs> this Nareva is not picking up the slack us. in any way that I've noticed, I have to say. No, I don't think it has either. I slept until 3 o'clock yesterday. <laughs> so what? Like, <laughs> like from all night into 3 in the afternoon? Yeah, I uh, I had worked sort of longer than usual the day before at the bookstore, and yeah. I, I woke up like in the morning to feed the dogs and stuff. But then I went back to bed, and it was like, out, you know, and that didn't feel that great to wake up at three o'clock on the one day. I, I was gonna I see. You know? I I have not been sleeping well, and I was wondering if that was a side effect. I was gonna ask you, but huh. man, I guess not. I guess not. I guess not, Gia. Yeah, I don't Same. know. Hmm. Um, but I was so air heady the other night. I was yeah. thinking that you gave me like an anti Nereva bottle, like switched him out <laughs> or some, gave you to something make that... yourself look better, you know? Uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Clear, clearly that's not working either. <laughs> <laughs> oh, geez. But, but uh, anyway, to anyway. get back to our special, I, yeah. I love the bloopers were fabulous. Um, oh, that that was great. Scotty really delivered oh in the bloopers, God. didn't he? <laughs> How could you ever work with him? <laughs> you know, that he thing where like... he was switching the light off and on in the courtroom, you know? <laughs> I was like, oh my God. <laughs> it's so funny. <laughs> and they were all just cracking up. And, uh, yeah, that was funny. I like that too. I mean, I wonder if you if you like like you know, please give me a storyline with Scotty just so you can. Have yeah, some, you know, like, yeah, right. I funny. I know he is like. I mean, sure they use him, but I feel like wouldn't it be interesting if he was like one of the main characters? You know. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that would that would rather. Be funny. Yeah, they kind of use him like a spice now. You know? Right, right. Yeah, yeah. But, but yeah, uh, he's he's like he's like himself, like Scotty in real life. Apparently, too. Like that's kind of a he, yeah. He doesn't of, seem you know. so different, does he? <laughs> no, he might seem a little more Scotty in real life. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Possibly. Um, yeah, yeah. But, but overall, that. I thought it was great. Uh, mm -hmm. I also wondered, and I, I don't know if I saw an answer to this, but the fact that Lois was on the special yeah, uh -huh. made me th wonder, like, is she going to stay now? Is she, like, a current? Yeah, I know. That's a good question. I mean, I maybe. Maybe she is. I'm totally, maybe. I'm totally cool. I'm totes cool with it, if she is. <laughs> I, I know. Her. I think. Yeah, I think the feedback has been mostly very positive. Although I, I have to say when she went over to Sonny's place um, and sort of I, she was kind of confronting him, but I'm not sure why that was sort of the the tact she took, you know? I mean, she seemed a little aggressively sort of probing him about how he was going to mm -hmm. handle the Nina situation. You know, I thought it was a little insensitive. I thought Diane was being a little pushy too. It's a bit like one day and she's like, we got to yeah. get the divorce going. You know? <laughs> I know. I know. <laughs> I've yeah. drawn up papers. And <laughs> <laughs> I know. I had them ready before you even said <laughs> <Yeah>. your vows. 
Yeah, I don't, I don't know, know where they're just going. <laughs> overdoing Lois is trying to be like the no nonsense, tell it like it is kind of gal. Yeah, and that was it. yeah, it was too much yeah. for me because even though she's like yeah. that, it seemed like she also is capable of being sensitive, you know, and compassionate. Right. Right. So it was a little oh. bit much. Um, but getting back to the special just for a second, um, when they did do the big reveal with Jason. Um, I hadn't even allowed myself to think that that could ever be a possibility, you know, that no, he would me, come me back. No, me neither. How, how just, burned do you think Jax is feeling right now? <laughs> you know, I was thinking, <laughs> is there any way they could bring Jax back to now? <laughs> you well, know? I think Jax burned his bridges, didn't he? I think he did too, kind of. Yeah, it seemed like Jason was, he left a little, he was diplomatic, you know. And right. Yeah, he was a little smarter. Anybody. Um, yeah. Yeah. You know, he just kind of like took his stance and then understood that mm -hmm. that's what yeah. would happen and didn't. Yeah, you know, uh -huh. he didn't try to sue anybody or smear mm -hmm. the whole right. company. Right. Or, you know, Ingo kind of yeah. yeah. went off, went off the rails a little bit. Um, yeah, which a lot of people, the pandemic like was very mm -hmm. stressful on people. On yeah, everyone's yeah. mental health and you know mm -hmm. it was just. Mm -hmm. It's hard times. Um, yeah, hard times in, is right, Gia. And I, you know, I was thinking about like uh, Jason. We we don't even use their real names, but um, <laughs> I know. <laughs> and I was I was thinking about like, well, part of me like the hard ass pandemic. Part of me is like, no, they shouldn't let him on because he didn't, you know, he didn't get the vaccine, <laughs> you know. And I'm like, well, but now now things are different and mm -hmm. um he's not uh uh him not being vaccinated is not a threat um mm -hmm. that it was right for, i mean things right. can change yeah. there could be another pandemic sure. for all the hell we know you know mm -hmm. and so changing policies now kind of makes sense like mm -hmm. it was like a lesson for me in my own like I, I wanted to be inflexible about it and be like, yeah, I know. Usually I like to be inflexible. Too. <laughs> <laughs> That's good that we can both admit that, you know, <laughs> we're, we're idiots. <laughs> just, just plain and simple. <laughs> well, I just ever, there's Dingling. so many people just really drew a line in the sand. Yeah. You know, yeah. And it's like, right. I, I shall never speak to you again because, of, you know, and it's like, it's like, well, we all went a little bit nuts, didn't we? You know? Well, and, I know like when Van Morrison comes on the radio, I'm like, Oh, Van Morrison. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I just, but if they played like one of my favorite Van Morrison songs, you'd still I'd be like, oh, like oh, Van Morrison. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, yeah, it's tricky. <laughs> it's it, tricky. it is tricky. And then, of course, there are people that, because they're famous, they have a platform and you get to hear mm -hmm. their idiotic viewpoints. Just yeah, like you get that's to hear true. ours. <laughs> Yeah. Have we apologized lately? I know. <laughs> but I mean, I think, I just think that it was good for me to like realize like, okay, mm -hmm. I'm mm -hmm. okay with that. Now I think changing their policy uh, makes sense now in the same way yeah. that like when you gain new knowledge about a situation, it, you know, things mm -hmm. change. Yeah. Um, yeah. Mm -hmm. The times changed, the situation changed. And yeah. So now yeah. I'm giving him kudos for, being you know a little classy about it and ex, uh -huh. you know like being like okay this is what i need to do and i'm gonna mm -hmm. take my lumps and you know mm -hmm. yeah right right he's being a little showing a little humility i guess yeah or something or, or something. you know who, who or... knows he might have been ranting and raving a blue streak to his friends and family <laughs> but he had the sense right. professionally to right keep right shut about it you know yeah yeah um and ultimately, what's more important is is the show. <laughs> right. So we can have Jason back. <laughs> yeah. Not so much like health, you know, national right, health right, and that kind right. of stuff, you know. It's but the we've show. Got, you know, we've got a love, like, I don't know, quadrangle now. Jesus. Yeah, I know. Uh, yeah, this is going to be so interesting when, how they bring him back and... You know, because it's I it's 
they can't work it so that he'll show up at Bobby's funeral, right? I mean, that would they that's already way ahead of I think when they would have started taping or when they oh. I don't know the timeline of when they'll start yeah. taping with him, but um right, right. Yeah, it could um, be interesting. Like what if she and Drew and- decide to get married and that's when he shows up? Oh man, that'd be a good one. And will he be, be I've also seen a lot of people saying, bring him back as Jason Quartermain, have him lose his memory. (laughs) Like, oh my God, how many times can we use this little device? But that would be interesting. They (laughs) They could use more medical professionals on the show. I would like him to become a doctor. A little recycling there, you know, Mm -hmm. Um, bring back an an old character. And I don't Mm -hmm. know. But I'm hoping he comes back as Jason and um, yeah, a lot of chatter also about, is he Dex's father? And it's like, Oh, come on. Um, <laughs> you know, one thing at a time. <laughs> yeah. But yeah. I just think, yeah, with Carly and, mm-hmm. um, and his relationship with Sonny and, Oh my goodness. There's just so much. Yeah. And now Sonny's there. like, you know, at odds with Nina. Right. I mean, right. Yeah, and of course he sees Carly all vulnerable, and that's gonna stir that some feelings. Brings out the knight in yeah. shining armor in him. Yeah. Sheesh! Yeah, yeah. Wow, knight in shining armor. Oh, I was gonna <laughs> tell you, I'm gonna, I, I wanted to start doing a thing where we had like a word that we had to incorporate into the evening. Uh, into oh. The- okay. But I don't know if we can do that uh, on the spot. But I, I heard the word ethos the other day. Oh. <laughs> and I don't really know. I like. Mm-hmm. I kind of know what it means in context, but I couldn't tell you. I don't know if I could use it in a sentence. And so okay. I don't know. Like points to you, like you know, a bag of M and M's or something to you, if you can work if that I in. Just don't work. not write this second, but if you can surprise us later. Uh huh. Putting that in there. <laughs> I my other this- word. My other word, and <laughs> yeah. this is just. I kind of like this word is disembodied. Oh, that's, yeah, that, that means, right? uh-huh, yeah, that yeah. one's, that one's fun. Ethos sounds a little, that's a little harder, I'd ethos say. Is hard, but I, I yeah, you, you scored mm-hmm. a point higher than me on that, on that Nariva test, so. W- one point, but we were still both well below passing. <laughs> <laughs> well, they didn't word it like passing or not passing. I mean, no, they didn't want to, they didn't want to <laughs> totally <laughs> make it, you know, <laughs> crush us. <laughs> <laughs> I want to meet the people who got like, you know, wow. a 90 on that. And so like, yeah. Like, okay. Yeah. What's going on there? You know? Right. Yeah. It would be fun to have some people we know, you know, do that test to see how they score. Would it? <laughs> well, no, you think they'd be throwing it in our faces. <laughs> Well, I would just feel like s- s- dirt, I think, if I if it was like super easy for somebody else. Yeah. And yeah. We were really scarred by this, weren't we? We were really well. defeated. <laughs> and yet it Seriously. wasn't that surprising. <laughs> you know what? I might ask my cousin. So okay, so the main the reason we're both doing this is not really funny, but both our mothers had Alzheimer's. Yeah. And not not a funny topic but so my no. cousin my aunt mm-hmm. my mother's sister uh-huh. also had alzheimer's uh-huh and I, and so my cousin and i also frequently talk about our fears about um, uh-huh. you know, yeah. when are we gonna show signs? right and right it's not if it's her. when right <laughs> yeah exactly yeah. i feel like mm-hmm. it. um maybe i'll have her do the test too mm, okay she's a little older well i guess she's uh-huh. your age um. <laughs> you don't get points for throwing that in. <laughs> I know I did that. Just occurred to me. I was thinking, well, she's older than me. That's oh, you're older than me too. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> uh, anyway. Um. Okay, uh, back to General Hospital. So yes. those were our feelings about the show. I thought everybody looked fantastic. Mm-hmm. Um, my, I guess my only other criticism was I, I thought Robin should have been a prominent. I was, yeah, I, yeah, I think so too. She was, she was a part of the show for a very long time. So long, yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Um, yeah, that would have been but nice. Again, Even just it, some flashbacks. It might have just been who was available or whatever, yeah. you know, but, but yeah. um Mm -hmm. I don't know. Yeah, in general, yeah. more flashbacks would have been good, but mm -hmm. I don't know. Yeah. I enjoyed it. The whole thing was just sparkly fun. I thought. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, yeah. Mm -hmm. so. so I felt like people were being a little overly critical. It's like people, we never get a prime time special. I like, know, I know. And you think about like where do you begin to like decide? Yeah, sixty years. That's you a know? lot of material. 60 years in less than 60 minutes, you know? Right. So. Ooh, that would have been a good promo line. 60 <laughs> years in less than 60 minutes. Because you could have devoted part of it to the kids, you know, the people who started it out as kids on the show and then aged, you know, that would have been right. kind of interesting. Right. But, um, and then the you characters who died, you that. know. Yeah, yeah. I mean, there's special. lots of, yeah. But anyway, they, I, they did a good job. Who knows how long they took to throw that together also. Just an afternoon, probably. <laughs> <laughs> Give everybody yeah. a sparkly dress. and Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, let's anyway, see. it was fun. Oh, uh, I, like, yeah. I, I, I didn't jump up and down on the couch like like Tom Cruise or anything, but I, no, I did, I did kind of let out quite a, like a, Oh my God. You know, like a, <laughs> well, I had to text you immediately when I know. we saw Jason, because you had time. said, yeah. had you had said something on, on Thursday, right? About I'd Jason, the Saturday. rumors. Yeah, yeah. And I just, I, I didn't even want to entertain that possibility and be disappointed. So I hadn't seen Shatter that, that he was going to be on the special, but just no, that he quit no. his current gig. Mm -hmm. So yeah. Yeah. Available, but anyway. Uh huh. Yeah. Um, so we do have, we have Friday's episode and then today's episode to talk about also. Yep. Yep. You start. Uh, what do you got? What do I have? Okay. Let's see. We had, um, Sonny, you know, going to find Cyrus, right? Yeah. Pounding oh, him into the ground. Yeah, pounding him into a pulp. That was... Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, and we had talked about that a little bit, right? That happened on Thursday, I right? I think that must have already happened, yeah, and then he took yeah. off. Yeah, uh, and so then uh, Laura was at the hospital. Um, right. And, right. And so Cyrus told her and uh, Dante... And uh, I liked how Laura, and I, I'm sure this really pisses Cyrus off, but how Laura like immediately has to like think about like what could Sonny possibly have been thinking, you know, like instead of taking Cyrus's side. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. She's so like even keel. She's so yeah. like sensible. And mm -hmm. I like how she was out there laughing with Dante about, you know, liking the uh, uh, earlier non, <laughs> non Bible yeah. verse spouting Cyrus yeah. a little yeah. better, you know? And, uh huh. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah. And she's just so like firm, but caring with people, mm -hmm. you know, like even yeah. Cyrus, even Cyrus, yeah. you know, mm -hmm. but she doesn't write him off completely. Yeah. She just kind of, yeah. She sort of wants to see where things yeah. can go, I guess. I like sort of a tr like trust, but verify kind of a. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, that's right. Yeah. So yeah, she's just, she'll always be a fave. Always a fave. Yeah. Oh, um, lady. Oh, and we, let's see, what else do we have? I felt like there was more that was significant on Friday, but I'm only remembering today's. I know, I'm only remembering today's. All of, right, well, let's go, let's talk well, about I think today. Drew, Drew went over to. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Did that right. start on Friday? Yeah, and he and Sam had their little sort of argument. Yeah, um, and I couldn't have, I couldn't have hated him more. Um. <laughs> I feel like every day you say that. <laughs> <laughs> it's not healthy it's not healthy like indulging in that um, but, but but then of yeah. course they bring him around and you know it's all to it's all to show that he's His, you know got PTSD yeah. or whatever it is they're building up to yeah um, and I guess I should give that actor credit because he's making himself you know really unlikable I mean that's acting mm -hmm. he's he's mm -hmm. doing it yeah, uh, that's true. And then when he does kind of catch himself and come around and apologize, 
I kind of am appreciating that, you know? Right, right. So I guess I'm, I guess I got to give him some, some more credit than I have been for, Mm -hmm. for being, you know, kind of a golden retriever. Uh, Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. And I think Sam did a good job also sort of navigating this kind of new Drew. Right. Right. Yeah. New Um, Drew. Yeah. She was kind of standing her ground, but trying to understand, you know, what was going on with him. So, yeah. That was I, good. I'm, mixed, I keep, I'm, I'm racking my brain for Friday and I'm just coming up with today. Yeah, so, it was, it was um, that you're right. It was that Drew and Sam thing. Um, oh, what else? I think so, a lot of things just started and then finished up today. I think. Um, mm-hmm. so, yeah. yeah. Was Nina already at Sasha's or was that just today? Oh yeah, let's see. That was that was Friday. Nina was at Nina was at Sasha's on Friday, and that was and annoying. I, I thought like oh. Nina, <laughs> you <Okay>. like that? <laughs> well, I, I, again, it was unexpected. I like the unexpected. I was like, oh, yeah. I didn't think of her turning to Sasha, but that's a good. That was a good way to go because, um, you know, Sasha had had. She had forgiven Sasha, you know, the, like mm-hmm. the, the, mm-hmm. the discussion about forgiveness. Yeah, that. well, right, right, sure. But I think that's why she picked her, because she knew that Sasha was sort of in a position where she couldn't judge Nina too harshly, you know. Well, right. Isn't that so? <laughs> I guess so, yeah. I mean, I guess that's what a person would do. Go to the person who's not going to give yeah, them a you know hard it's time. Not gonna- slam the yeah. door in your face yeah but it just feels like even everything nina was like sort of regurgitating with sasha i'm just not seeing a lot of remorse or any really it just feels like nothing yeah. she's, well, she's saying what she knows people want to hear but i don't think she's that's feeling nina. It. i mean that's that's yeah that is nina in a nutshell i guess isn't yeah. it yeah um so there was that yeah. Oh, there was some other, uh, gosh, who was thrown together that was interesting? Not well, just so, those. I mean, were we still announcing the Bobby um, death on Friday? Yeah, yeah. Was that, rippling, that was still going around town. Uh-huh. through with Michael mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. Um, and Joss. I don't know. I can't mm-hmm. remember quite where we were with yeah. everybody. Yeah. Um, well, let's just talk about today. Screw yeah, it. okay. Maybe stuff will come back to us. So we had um, Sonny at the police station with Dante. Yep. And yep. and Sonny kind of, at first, he was, you know, being sort of sullen and pouty that Dante had arrested him. But then I think uh, the reality set in, you know, that he couldn't expect yeah. Dante to look the other way in that well, case. Well, I, you know? I think also the the announcement of Bobby's death and how Dante handled yeah. that, mm-hmm. you know, kind of mm-hmm. softened yeah. the whole situation. Um, mm-hmm. Yeah. So we had that. I'll tell you my favorite, absolute favorite thing, and I bet it was yours too, okay. was... Uh, the Kelly's diner scene with um, with yeah Elizabeth yeah and yeah Carly yep that was and good yeah that was I thought that was really really beautifully done mm-hmm. and I, I, Elizabeth is just sort of sort of such a heart and soul of the place mm-hmm. character yeah you know? yeah uh huh like she's becoming one of the legacy characters she really like. is and she still looks so young. <laughs> You know, she yeah. really doesn't change. But yeah, That's I could have had like a- Noxzema. <laughs> I was just I was just thinking about Noxzema. <laughs> Do they still make that? Because it has such a distinct smell. <laughs> I love that stuff. I might get myself a jar of that. <laughs> yeah, that's I love that smell, and mm-hmm. I love to smearing that all over my face, man. Um, I, God, I've forgotten all about it. I like. Know. I would come out of the bathroom just reeking of Noxzema and Love Baby Soft, you know, like a combo of. Yeah. Uh, that was, yeah, that was a teenage girl back in the 70s yeah. or 80s. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Like four different shades of eyeshadow on my eyelids. <laughs> you slut. <laughs> um, but I could have watched I, like a whole hour of Carly and Elizabeth, you know. I know. Oh, I know. Well, we both love when former enemies like yeah, uh, totally, yeah, supportive yeah. of each other, and they mm-hmm. 
It's mm-hmm. like they have a weird, even stronger bond because they used to hate each other. Yeah. Which is weird. Yeah, and I mean, working through that, it does feel like, yeah. you know, it it mean it shows some real character, I think, that they can sort of acknowledge each other, you know, without I, that. The only thing that would have made it better, and I don't understand, I felt this like all today's episode. Why mm-hmm. didn't we get any flashbacks? There were so many great lead-ins. Yeah, I know. I, I would have liked one where Elizabeth was talking about how Bobby was there for her, because that would have been yes. really interesting, you know? Yes, because I remember that. I mean, that was such a yeah. powerful uh, yeah. like storyline when Elizabeth mm-hmm. was raped. Like, that was yeah. her entrance on the show, really. Yeah, she um, was so young, and that's when Lucky was, was on. Yeah. And, yeah. Yeah, was, I, that, so... Mm-hmm. Why can't they? Is there some rule that they can't show flashbacks or something? I wouldn't think so. I maybe it's just a time thing to like find them and figure out how to fit them in, but that would have fit perfectly in there. Yeah, all over the place. Like a lot yeah. of Lucy. Lucy had her conversation yeah. with Scotty, and yeah. they were really mm-hmm. they were really digging deep into their psyches, or mostly yeah. Lucy. Yeah, mm-hmm. and her rivalry with Bobby, and they could have shown mm-hmm. so many scenes from that. Yeah, yeah, those two. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that would have been good too. I know. Mm-hmm. Uh, anyway, but, I kind of so. like that scene too. That maybe was another one of my favorites. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Lucy that and Scotty, because you don't you don't see Lucy being introspective and thoughtful mm-hmm. very often. Right, you know? right. Yeah, and it's it's interesting that it's with Scotty, who's <laughs> such yeah. a clown, you know, but yeah. he's the person that, he's like her Jason, like Jason is to Carly. Scotty yeah, that's a good analogy. Lucy. Nice um, job, old lady. That's <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, I fit that fucking word ethos into this. You gotta <laughs> challenge me like that. <laughs> You can do disembodied if you want. That's maybe Thanks. more likely. Thank you. I know well, that I seems more so opera related. Yeah. <laughs> like a disembodied voice or something we could try. Yeah. To. Yeah. Um, oh, sheesh. I keep things keep we coming we into my Tracy head. Yeah. And we had Brooklyn. Tracy in Brooklyn. Uh huh. Um, um, those two are drawing closer and closer, it seems to me. I don't know if that's a good thing or not. I don't know either. Well, also, Brooklyn had been saying that she wanted to, like, con Aunt Tracy or Tracy so she could get, you know, deception, right? Yeah, right. And now it seems like she's, I don't I don't know what she's up to. It seems to me like she's rising to Tracy's defense all the yeah, time yeah yeah i great know sympathy for her and right, I don't know. right yeah i can't decide okay. if she is if she's ultimately going to like become closer to tracy or still has this long game in mind you know yeah i don't know but okay. I, I i like them together but i think it i don't know is it gonna pull brooklyn back to the dark side a little bit more yeah yeah i don't know um, we also had the Cody storyline. Oh yeah, and, that and was Sasha. I was a little surprised at that, and and so I give them points for surprising me again. Because um, well, I was a little disappointed because I was afraid wow. Sasha had thought to do something, and I I didn't want Felicia to think she was wrong. I don't want Felicia doubting her gut, you know, <laughs> ever. <laughs> Ever. Felicia, you're a goddess. Yeah. <laughs> you know? Um, but I yeah, I don't know where that storyline's gonna go now, but it's it's I don't know, it's it's in danger of not being interesting at all. <laughs> you well, know? The thing about Cody being concerned that he's you know, he's broken the law and that's why he can't tell mm-hmm. the truth, you know, that 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 yeah. seems a little lame. That seems a little flimsy. Yeah, yeah. To me. Um, uh huh. Right. That, that suddenly the concern. I don't know, but yeah. Um, mm-hmm. Well, and, okay. I take it back. I don't give him points for anything. I just didn't. I had no <laughs> thought that Sasha was able to do any finagling. Well, um, I don't know where she had the time to switch the hair, <laughs> but you know, yeah. there was something about you know how she was handling herself that I thought she might have decided to try to 
save Cody, you know, from okay. whatever yeah. he was afraid of. I don't know. Well, it's all um, to draw them, ultimately draw them closer together. Yeah. Yeah. Blah, blah, blah. Um, blah, blah. And it seems like they could have told Felicia and still, I mean, it's not like she's going to go to the authorities and say, you know, this, this guy said that this other person was his dad, you know, like among the family, <laughs> they could know the truth. Right, you know? But does he still have the thing with Scotty where he's that to- lawsuit or with the yeah. WSB? Yeah. I, who knows? The, the WSB seems like such a bogus organization, you know, that. Yeah. It's kind of like Acme. Yeah, <laughs> in a cartoon. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but um, oh, and I was too. glad that I was glad that the real Maxie was back. Uh, yeah, today. me too. Uh huh. Because it's important scenes, you know. And, uh, yeah, that and it makes you realize there's always important scenes, you know, because you have yeah, you still have yeah, the yeah. Joss fill in instead of the real Joss. And, and, and they did a good job, the Maxie fill in and the Joss fill in. They're, yeah, you know, they, yeah. They've done mm-hmm. a good job. Mm-hmm. Um, but I just always like to see the real Maxie, you know. Yeah. You know, mm-hmm. Me too. Especially, you know, with all the BJ talk and. This yeah. Stuff. Right. That she was there for that. Mm-hmm. Oh, and those would have been great flashback scenes too, because yes. that was gut wrenching. That you was know. heart and gut wrenching. I guess yeah. your heart is part of your guts. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, that was where so like I'm not sure we've had super devastating scenes like that in a long time. You know, it was, it was internally wrenching. Just, just <laughs> stem, stem to stern. <laughs> them to stern you don't get to use that very often <laughs> i wished i'd said something about working that in tonight is that, <laughs> that would have, you would have gotten bonus points for that i, <laughs> I would have been like no way is she gonna be able to say that Stem to stern. <laughs> It's kind of mainish. It's been not a question. Uh, yeah. I know. I know. <laughs> um, anyway, yeah, I think that was kind of. I think when I really first started watching, and I do remember mm-hmm. being like, "Oh my god, this is just too much," you know. I know. Like Tony was great in those scenes. Oh, yeah. I thought, you yeah. know, yeah, yeah, it was like, rough, rough yeah. stuff. Hmm. Yeah. I don't know. Have we had our well? And oh, this reminds me of in the special we didn't mention that Mike, um, Sonny's father. Oh, was, yeah, that was that was good stuff. I was it was so nice to see him, wasn't it? <laughs> yeah, 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 um, yeah. But th- I think that was maybe one of the last times my guts were wrenched. Um, yes. That, that <laughs> yep. storyline that was hard to take. That was especially you know with the Alzheimer's tie-in. Like, yeah, God. but they did they did a really nice job with that. And his funeral, I thought, was one of that was like one of the most memorable funerals. Yeah, on this yeah. show yeah. that I can recall. Yeah, very nice. I thought done. that was a nice segment on the special where they kind of reminded us of, of the various issues. Yeah. Uh huh. Uh huh. Yeah. Well, then they with the AIDS when they could have had a flashback to Stone and Robin, that would have been awesome. Yeah, you're right. Now, now I'm all riled up. Yeah, I'm all riled up. But that was another. I mean, that those like stand out as gut wrenchers. The, yeah. the Robin Stone mm-hmm. storyline was just yeah. almost unbearable. Yeah, yeah, and it showed such a nice side of Sunny. You know, it was just oh, like, yeah, Jason. I mean, all of it was oh, yeah. Man boy good stuff real good real stuff yeah. have we had anything recent that has been more gut-wrenching i mean we've had some deaths for sure yeah i know we've had some sad things yeah, like you know, brit that. you know and things that were sort of sudden more than these like and like the thing that could have been maybe a little bit gut-wrenching was the willow's story but they had that so much of that was off camera yeah. you know and it was yeah and stretched out and not yeah they yeah they, they dropped the ball on that but oh well that's more from today will it like what you Willow, think of willow's yeah. performance well um, you know i thought you know michael in a way got a bit of a a break because <laughs> she's such a good soul you know that she uh, isn't going to shut him out completely now, now that Bobby has died. But I thought it was good that she's, you know, 
said she still, you know, needed. I liked how she said it caused her to take a look at their whole relationship through new eyes. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Yeah. I, um, I thought she could have so easily kind of crumbled in the yeah. moment, you know, because mm -hmm. of Bobby's death and mm -hmm. been like, Oh, you know, come home. This just isn't the time for you to be alone or, mm -hmm. um, but I, so I was like, wow, such backbone for such a tiny mm -hmm. little person. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah. And so I was like, wow, that's, I, I'm admiring that character more and more. Mm -hmm. She really stood her ground and she yeah. wasn't nasty, but she stood her ground and. Right. Right. Um, yeah. Uh, I kind of wish she had said like, you know, that when she said you really hurt me, I wish she had elaborated on that, you know, like how, because I'm not sure he understands exactly how. It wasn't just no, lying. I, yeah, I don't you know? think he gets it. I don't think he gets yeah. it. I don't think he'll change. You know, in the same way that Nina doesn't seem to learn. Yeah. And grow, yeah. Um, uh -huh. I, I think that might just be part of Michael's character, you know? Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, I think he obviously truly loves her and is sorry, but right, I don't right, see him really yeah. fully getting mm -hmm. what he did. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah. I don't know. I know I'm always saying people can change and all that stuff, but I, I don't know if I believe it. <laughs> Even though I'm the one saying it. <laughs> At our cores. <laughs> we like to be rigid and unforgiving. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I know I do. And I, I sometimes like, uh, you know, I will confess to like just you or my husband or whatever, the mm -hmm. ugly feelings I'm having, but uh, it doesn't make them go away or anything, you know, like, yeah, I kind of feel yeah. like you got to tell somebody the ugly feelings and not pretend uh -huh. that you're not, you know, right. Right. Having them. But I wish I just didn't mm. have, just feel so ugly sometimes about people. I, I feel like you're, you're a little hard on yourself. Cause I think it's, I? yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh god yeah <laughs> no i just i do i tend to be rigid and judgy and you know i don't know um, oh i i definitely am too i have all these like boycotts that i launch in my mind immediately you know of like, people or, or companies <laughs> well <laughs> Well, people like like when we were talking about like Van Morrison, like any like oh, yeah, of the yeah, musicians yeah. that like you know sort of yeah. took a stand against vaccines. I was so disappointed, you know. Yeah, Clapton. Yeah, yeah. and it's just kind of really, hard. In the height of it, I was really like, I don't, I just can't enjoy Clapton anymore. But honestly, yeah. like two nights ago, they were blasting "Bad Love" on wherever we were, and, and, uh, bad love. and I was like, yeah, you know that's still good. It still stands up. <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> I know, I know. It's it's it is it does sort of raise an interesting point, you know, like because I still feel like I still feel fuzzy in my head when it comes to not Jason. I still feel like I I'm not quite resolved on like him or van morrison or eric clap you mean you don't mean jason the character you mean the actor like the actor yeah the actor, I, I, yeah the actor. and i guess i guess it's where you have to decide like do you separate the art from the artist you know and that kind right, of right 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 you know and is it possible to really truly do that you know like i always loved woody allen and i still i i still love so many woody allen movies and i right I don't know how I feel like I don't like I don't when people say they would never work with him I kind of feel like geez I don't know I think I would <laughs> if he offered me a spot <laughs> on a movie <laughs> you know <laughs> well yeah I I know I know and it's uh right but should you even should you even know about like what a person is really like authors I guess are different because like you can read a book and not have any idea who the author is as a well, person. Right. It's this era of, of um, the internet and everybody having a platform and everybody, yeah. sharing, like, you know, right. Mm -hmm. You wouldn't know this stuff about people necessarily. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, 
Yeah, you're right. You're right. That's where it does all come out usually is on these on these platforms. And sometimes I'm just sorry to see what people are kind of like in real life because I'll yeah. be some character. Uh-huh. That, like I remember mm-hmm. watching. Like I was in love with Jimmy Smith on um uh-huh. <laughs> on NYPD Blue. NYPD Blue. Yeah. 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 Oh, I just thought he was so sexy and so cool. <laughs> and, is that uh-huh. wrong? Uh, no, no, no. Is that unusual or wrong in some way? <laughs> no, but um, your voice really changed and I started to feel a little yeah. uncomfortable. <laughs> <laughs> I guess he's one of those pants feeling actors. <laughs> there we go. We brought it back around. <laughs> Again, got to give that pants feeling credit to uh, General Hospital Snark Facebook page. Not my yep. phrase, but I think it's fabulous. Um, <laughs> but anyway, so then I saw Jimmy Smith on some talk show or late night yeah. talk show or something. Uh-huh. And he wasn't like a horrible person or anything, but he was uh-huh. pretty dorky. You know, he was just yeah. like normal dork. And I'm like, oh my God, what happened to the smoldering, <laughs> sexy, you know? Yeah, yeah. So I guess you he's know a where- good actor. But, uh, you know where they really start to their sk- their stock really falls is when you see some actors on either J- Celebrity Jeopardy <laughs> or Celebrity Wheel of Fortune, <laughs> and some of them are not so bright, you know, and it's like, yeah. wow, <laughs> you know, realize they've just been repeating lines all their life. <laughs> yeah, they got nothing. Yeah. yeah, if they took the Nareva test, they would they would maybe do even more. Badly well, then we might, we might want to be friends with them. I don't maybe, know. <laughs> maybe that that's our crowd, you think? <laughs> our tribe. <laughs> Stupid <Yeah>. actors. <laughs> but I don't know. I don't know. The whole, I mean, now that I've sort of calmed down about um, the vaccine and COVID and all uh-huh. that stuff, and you kind of go, well, you know, people are a product of their upbringing and their surroundings yeah. and what they're yeah. reading, you know, and so uh-huh. some people came to different conclusions in, than me. Uh-huh. Yeah. And I, that doesn't mean there has to be like hatred, you know? Yeah, that's like, true. I may not be able to understand how they came to their conclusion, but they don't right. understand how I came to mine. So, uh-huh. Um, yeah. That's see, that's very, that's very mature of you, Gia. But it I can really only is. say that now that the, that the, that situation- the threat has kind yeah. of fast, mostly yeah yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. um so i don't know you can't hold me to these things because when when <laughs> when the, you know the burner's under me and it's on high then uh, i'm like screeching uh-huh. like a banshee about stuff you know? yeah yeah uh-huh yeah i still feel like if i ran into aaron Rodgers, i'd be like god you're such a dick <laughs> He was really Would outspoken, you? yeah. And I used to love him, you know, maybe not in your Jimmy Smith's pants way. No. But, no, no but close, there. close, yeah. 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 yeah, so, and you just, yeah, you just imagine that these people are, I don't know. Uh, it's More. tricky, it's tricky. Yeah, but yeah, true. separating the actor from, from yeah. the, uh, uh-huh. the role. Uh-huh. So, Anyway, I will conclude with uh, I am I am excited to have the Jason character back. For oh, sure. in so yeah. many in so many for so many reasons. Yeah, I think definitely I'm excited and I'll be, you know, a full support, you know, once he's back, you know, um, it's also good because we'll have Spinelli and Jason together, you oh, know, right, right. If they could only bring Brenda back on, I thought Brenda and Jason were like they, those. That was one of my favorite combos. Yeah, <laughs> oh my yeah, God. They were that was a good one. Brenda. Yeah, Brenda, well, you know, she's didn't have Brenda on that special anywhere, did we? No, no, she lots of people of weren't. Movie, really, yeah. yeah. And she's one that they've never really successfully brought back for more than like a day, you know? Right. Yeah. Yeah. So she must be enjoying life, I guess. It's weird. I don't know. What is she on some show currently? I don't even I know. I don't think so. I don't think so. Um, I, I would love to see Brit somehow miraculously come back from the dead. Uh, right. I mean, if Jason did, but I mean, we've like buried Brit and everything, we right? Buried, like, yeah. She, we saw her body, whereas with Jason, yeah. he was Jason under the rubble. Rubble, yeah. That's <laughs> the old rubble. Yeah. <laughs> Could you work disembodied in there somehow? <laughs> I feel like I should have been able to, but <laughs> not, not quick enough. Get that hand over the cursor, finger on the cursor. 
<laughs> oh god um oh, there well. else to discuss um, i feel like i'm forgetting this. something big but i can't i thought come this up is kind of a shallow comment but i thought carly's hair today looked incredibly good it was very full-bodied wasn't it yeah, and it, mm -hmm. uh, so I felt good about giving her the best hair award the other day. Oh, okay, good. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. good. Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I think that's, that's a good note to close on. <laughs> oh, can I say one more thing? This yes, had nothing sure, to do with the, sure. Uh -huh. Nothing to do with the last two days, but I was watching the news tonight, and mm -hmm. um, the Pope has apparently come out with something about surrogacy, the surrogate motherhood. Oh, uh-huh. Anti. anti. He's, an he's against it? Yeah, and apparently has been for a long time. Uh, nothing new. <laughs> <laughs> he's just getting he's... around to talking about it. <laughs> he's like, oh yeah, I knew I'd forgotten something. <laughs> Here's something else I don't want you to do. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> anyway, within this news tidbit, they said mm -hmm. that um, surrogacy is illegal in lots of parts of Europe, in Italy, or something like that. Really? Huh. Yeah, and All that right. was like, that was totally news to me. So I just thought it uh, brought us back to our Christina yeah. Yeah. storyline. Yeah, um, you took the long road, but yeah, you brought us back. Okay. Whatever. From the Pope. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Christina. <laughs> The Pope said all that, and then he was like, I gotta go change my dress. I'll be back. <laughs> <laughs> now I've just lost every Catholic listener. We have. I know. I know. Oh, boy. <laughs> um, I just, uh, I occasionally get tired of men talking about stuff women should or shouldn't do. But Yeah, um, occasionally, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Anyway... I that was just total news to me. I thought, wow. So I it made me kind of wonder because I know we've got listeners from lots of different countries. Right. Like I wonder mm -hmm. if that storyline is hitting them in with a, a different whole different way. significance. Yeah, because yeah. I hadn't even thought mm -hmm. about like legality of it or not, or whether right. it should. You know. Uh huh. That's a good oh, point, Gia. You've raised an thanks. interesting point. <laughs> It's too bad it's after the 50 minute mark where nobody's going to hear it. But it's probably I'll, for the best. I, was, <laughs> to remember. I, I apologize. That was pretty disrespectful of me. I apologize. I take that. <laughs> well, I think generally this Pope is quite progressive. And, he is. And he actually minded. is. So, yeah, yeah, that was a little bit of a surprise. Um, yeah. I was like, uh -huh. really? Like, why are you even thinking about that? Like, huh? What? <laughs> there's so much going on like why are you thinking about that <laughs> why are you thinking about that <laughs> yeah i don't know it's i i i shouldn't say anything because i'm gonna say something really <laughs> yeah, stupid okay, we should awful. Just, let's just end it here yeah we'll okay here. with our two uh, disembodied voices wishing <laughs> everyone a wonderful night Yes, a wonderful evening. Uh, good night, everyone. Thank you for listening. Uh, we yeah. have a listener in the Cayman Islands, which I think is Ooh. new for us. Isn't that where people have their bank accounts where they right. like, launder yeah. their money or whatever? Yeah. yeah, cool. Maybe it is yeah. a laundress that is listening. <laughs> Maybe it's Jason. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Welcome he would back, wrote it, Jason. turned us off already. Good. Um, <laughs> Anyway, uh, we've had a good couple days, so I I'm psyched yeah. to, to see where we're yeah. going with everything now. Me too. So. Me too, Gia. All okay, well, we'll talk in a few days. You have a good yep. night. You too. All right. Bye-bye. Okay.